Meanwhile, the U.S. Congress has voted to extend sanctions against Zimbabwe. U.S. restrictions were first imposed in 2001, and the Zimbabwe Democracy and Economic Recovery Amendment Act will keep them in place once signed into law by President Donald Trump. Our U.S. correspondent Harry Horton reports. Well, the bill was unanimously passed by both the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate during votes over the past week. Uh, the bill calls for an election in Zimbabwe that is widely accepted as free and fair. Uh, it also calls for some other government reforms as well. Uh, Zimbabwe has been under U.S. sanctions since 2001 uh, after then-President Robert Mugabe embarked on a land reform program uh, that saw many white farmers displaced from their farms. The chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Ed Royce, uh, said that the upcoming election in Zimbabwe was a pivotal moment for the country. Uh, he said he was encouraged by some of the statements and actions taken by the government, but he said he was concerned by reports of voter intimidation, efforts to politicize food aid and increased military presence in rural polling stations. Uh, now, the MDC Alliance, which represents the opposition movement in Zimbabwe, pushed for sanctions to be retained. Uh, the bill will become law once President Donald Trump signs it, which he's expected to do so. Harry Horton, CGTN, Washington.